Hi, and welcome to the Grafton Public Library's Makerspace video tutorial series. My name is Leslie and I am the reference librarian here at the Grafton Public Library. Today we are going to learn how to scan documents using the flatbed scanner in the library's Makerspace. Documents are a really popular thing to scan here at the library, especially documents with multiple pages. And this tutorial will let you know how exactly you can go ahead and digitize those documents. First though, let's make sure that the scanner is turned on. So this is our scanner. We have an Epson Perfection V600 photo scanner. And right now it is turned off. I can tell because there's a little light here that when it is on, it turns green. I will show you how to do that by turning it on. Um, we're gonna come over to the right hand side of the scanner and there's a gray button, power button here. I'm just gonna go ahead and push that. And then the scanner is gonna start to turn on. Um, it, you'll see a blue flashing light. It'll squeak a little bit and you'll also see that that green light is on. Um, after it's, the blue light is done flashing, then you can go ahead and start the scanning process. Now that I know that my scanner is turned on, I'm going to place the first sheet of my document onto the flatbed. To do that, I'm going to carefully lift up the lid. I'm going to take my sheet and lay it face down onto the glass screen here. Um, and I need to make sure that my document is all the way up into this corner with the arrow. It's the upper right hand side if you're looking at the scanner. Once it is properly in place, carefully lower the lid so that you don't shift your document on the screen. And then we are going to come back to the computer to start the scanning process. Now that I'm at my computer, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the scanner software. That's this Epson scan icon here on my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on that icon to open up the Epson scan window. So you'll notice that our mode right now is on full auto mode. Full auto mode is great for single page documents, photos, and slides, but if you're doing a multi-page document, we're gonna to have to switch our mode. I'm going to go ahead and click on this drop down arrow and select office mode. Now that we are in office mode, you'll notice that we have different options for our scan. For normal everyday scanning, you don't need to change any of these. They're pretty set, much set to a default. So I'm going to skip that and just show you how to start your scan. It's really simple. I'm just going to go ahead and click the scan button here. Um, what you'll notice is that image format is set to JPEG. If you have multiple pages, you're going to want to change that file type. So we're going to click the drop down and choose PDF. The next thing about this scanner software is you need to tell it how many pages you have in your document. So go ahead and count those up and then we're going to click on options. What you want to do is click on under page number here, this little bubble next to select number to make file. And then we're going to put in the number of pages that we have. I have three pages in my document, so I'm gonna leave it at that. If you have more or less, you can click the up and down arrows to change that number. Once we're done, I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. And it's really simple. All I have to do is click OK on this window and it's going to start scanning. You'll hear the scanning going. It's going to make some worrying noises. Um, once it's finished, you're going to get this add page confirmation. Go ahead and click add page, and then we're going to switch the page on our scanner. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put page number two down. When I lift up the lid, be careful um, that you don't lift it too fast. And then take off your document, place the second page face down, and remember to get it in that upper right hand corner by the arrow and close gently on the lid so that you don't shift your document around on the flatbed. Once you're ready to scan, all you have to do is click the scan button and it's going to scan page two. And we'll continue to do the same thing for page three. So I'm gonna go ahead again, click add page, lift up the lid of the scanner, take off the second page and place face down the third page 
next to that arrow in the upper right hand corner. Slowly close the lid and then I'm going to click scan. Again, you'll hear the whirring noise, it's scanning, it's scanning. And once it's done, all I have to do is save my file. So it's going to go ahead and convert your image. This will take just a minute. Um, you just have to wait for this progress bar to go through. So once it's done, it's going to open up the pictures folder. Um, that's where it saves all of your documents, pictures, slides, whatever you scan goes into the pictures folder. Um, and my document is called IMG007. That's the name that it gives it, um, always IMG and then a number. If you wanna make sure everything looks good, go ahead and double click. It will open up your document in a PDF viewer and you can make sure that everything looks nice. Once you have made sure that everything looks good, don't forget to take your last document off of the flatbed scanner so that you don't leave it here in the library's makerspace. This is the end of the tutorial. I hope that it has been informative and that you can use the tips given to go ahead and scan whatever documents you need to here at the Grafton Library's makerspace.